All right, today is July 3rd, and this is our garden video update. I forgot to make the video last week. Um, it's just been dry and hot down here. It rained like one inch last week, and it's about one inch this week. Sugarcane, sapodilla has a lot of new growth. This bed looks good, relatively speaking. This again was the cocoa core bed. The tomatoes starting to climb up the tree. Resurrection fern, see how dry it's been. There's our jujube. It's got a lot of new growth on it. All of the squash we ended up ripping up, it's just way too hot. We planted two more rows of corn. Our grapefruits are growing. There are still all three. Even the sweet potato is drying out. We're harvesting a whole bunch of tomatoes still. We actually got a dehydrator this week, so I've been dehydrating a lot of our harvests. Over there is a lime. It's the Persian lime. We're going to cut these bougainvilleas up soon. See the limes down there? This is a red finger lime. They're just getting engulfed in bougainvillea. These are three eggplants. This is the Listata, Japanese White, and then the Black Beauty. So grow different varieties of stuff and see what works best. Um, these have been growing fine. We've had like a little bit of worms on them, but nothing too big. This is our Rangpur Lime. It's getting sun damage. So I'm trying to take the Bougainvillea and make like an arbor over it to give it some kind of protection. Our Asian pear, Suli, lemon, mango looks so good. All this new growth. Again we have more eggplants. This is the Listata again. This one looks bad. So many eggplants. So there's all three varieties here. Then we have all of our peppers. Not all of, we've got so many peppers. They're coming. This is like Midnight Dreams. We had, that's the same one there, we had some. It was like really sweet, it wasn't hot at all. There was a squash here. Squash just got annihilated by the caterpillars. So we pulled them up. There's my pepper. Marigolds are getting so big. Still going with the Chinese yard long. There's sour orange. Let's go this way. We've got our tomato trellis. We harvest off of these like every day and I just cut them up and put them in the dehydrator. We're going to start um, making like tomato powder. It's going to be very interesting. We really don't like to eat tomatoes. Our sapodilla, we're thinking about um, taking the fruit off and allowing it to just grow. These Thai soldier. We're dehydrating so many of these because we can't eat this many. Oh, look who I see. Grasshoppers. Our Hamlin orange. It's like candy cane zinnia. We're growing a whole bunch of zinnia. Oh, something that's really exciting. 
So we have our strawberries on the ground. They're growing nicely. I'm trying to graft this into a rainbow tree and these are all, didn't take, coral vines taking that over. But two did take. I have no idea what colors these are. It'll be fun to see what colors they are, but they'll grow up and be part of this tree. Let's go under here. This is our kumquat. It's reflowering. Those are gonna be so good. Okay. So let's go over to the apple side. We have watermelon growing all over the ground. A few different kinds of watermelon. And then there's squash. Check out this sunflower. <laughs> it's massive. Here it is. Butternut squash. There's one right there. There are peppers. So we plant our stuff pretty much everywhere and see we're trying to see where things grow better in different microclimates. So these are a new kind of um, long bean. These are asparagus long beans. They're supposed to be able to take the heat and they're doing really well. This is an acorn squash. They're getting attacked by caterpillars pretty bad, but I've been on top of trying to come out and hunt them. Got our, another bush baby watermelon. Our apple trees are growing. Carrots. There's another apple tree. This keeps flowering. This is a Dorset Golden. Pepper's trying to find a cat. I think that needs more sun than Loganberry. Another apple. Basil. Blackberry. See, watermelon. It's coming out of that bed back there. Um, we've been ripping up the kale and dehydrating that into kale chips. It's pretty good. We've got watermelon climbing through here. More basil, more peppers. We harvested all these peppers. This is the bullnose, albino bullnose. This tomato snapped with all the rain, so we replaced him. This is the purple pimiento or something pepper. It was so spicy coming again. More eggplants. So many more eggplants. Oh, there's a ladybug. See, the squash is just getting annihilated. I'm trying to save this one. Our tomatoes. We're going to trellis them up. Got our borage. More sunflowers, tomatoes. Our plum trees. Cherry. Another plum. Strawberries on the ground. Let's go to the garden. This is our double mohoi banana. This is gonna go into the ground right there next to the cabin dish. It's gonna give out two heads. It's gonna be pretty crazy. Uh, my lobster claw heliconia. This tree is called Tahitian hat. These lobster claws are fuzzy. They grow on the second year. All of our blueberries. So much growth on the blueberries. 
Ginger's coming back. This is tropical lilac. It's going to flower soon. Got more plants we're planting out. This is clematis. This smells so good. Oh, what do we have here? Slugs. So we'll just let him be. Now the garden's starting to feel tropical. Oh, I can see a lobster claw coming back there. So I just ripped those apart, like at the base, and then I planted them everywhere in the garden. All the heliconias are starting to come. So I've worked on this garden since 2015. It's a tropical paradise back here. Well, now we're bringing in the fruit trees. It's a, or um, a red navel orange. Got some blueberries on the ground, pineapple. Pineapple's got new growth in it. More bananas. So those are more Cavendish. And then there's a, um, I forget what that's, that's called in the center. It's a different one. This is our Dutchman pipeline, host plant to butterflies. This is the Chinese perfume. This smells so amazing. The black flamingo. Like these come out with little yellow shoots. Eyelash is flowering. This is the variegated version. We've got our um, bleeding heart. More iris. Just growing out of there. Um, these are the Jamaican cherries. There's so many of them. I'm trying to see what else there is. Lots of spider webs. Oh, we got these, um, this week the uh, butterfly bush flowered. This is one of the best smelling plants in the garden. Um, we got these hibiscus on eBay and this was supposed to be like some really crazy color. Whoops, I knocked it out. But anyway, it's not what we wanted and it's just this white flower with like a little bit of red on the inside. That's definitely not what we wanted. So don't buy your plants on eBay. Well, I guess take a chance. We need to deadhead really badly try to try to keep up with it the gooseberry at least this one is doing much better in the shade this was in the ground in the apple section and I dug it up because it was just looking like this Looks much better, except that one. Well, let me go this way for a minute. A different perspective. We have grapes. And the grapes are trellised up in front of the house. And they're looking pretty nice. We have two different kinds of grapes. Here is our... Um, goji berry. It's was looking pretty rough. It still looks pretty rough, but you can see it's growing back. 
it'll grow back just fine. I even saw that there are like buds coming. Oh, here's some. So it's gonna come back just fine. Uh, then we have the katuk. That's an edible perennial. Our fig tree. We just look around for a minute. So back there we have our peaches. These are corn. Um, these are three cherries. Another row of blueberries. And then along the front of the house is raspberries and blackberries. And then we have a cucumber bed. Pomegranate. More blueberries. Strawberries. This is ground cover on the back. This is cassia. This is candelabra cassia. It's a host plant for butterflies. Winter cassia. It's a different one. Mulberry. Still nothing on the mulberry. Oh, this is a blue sky vine. It's taking over. But um, little birds and stuff live in here, so it's pretty nice. Got more blueberries on the ground. That's a Mysore raspberry. It's the black cap. So spiky. Miracle fruit. We're just always battling these little black aphids on the Barbados. It's not so bad. And like whenever it goes to flower or send out a flower, the aphids just come and eat it right off. Not fun. Um, we're going to prune up our blackberries. Getting pretty tall. I say it's maybe about three feet. We want to prune it up here so it sends out lateral growth. Because that's what it's going to fruit on. It's a fall gold raspberry. Or a zinnia bunch. We just turned this over. All of those were pretty root bound. The cucumbers, I hope they make it out okay. And we redid the front beds. We're working on redoing the front beds. There was like bok choy and other lettuces, but it's just been too hot. They all bolted. So now we put strawberry, peppers. I love cilantro, so cilantro, echinacea, there's tomatoes, four tomatoes, a new marigold, and that's amaranth. And then here we have more tomatoes, Swiss chard, beets, we're going to harvest this up. All this are just extras to find room for around the garden. Haven't seen any passion fruit on our vine. But look at this. There are so many eggplants. Oh my gosh, those little red bugs. Anyway, that's it for our garden for this week. Have a good day.